keto yorkshire pudding recipe for you this is the easiest recipe i found on the internet there are loads of loads of recipes but i'll class this one as the easiest so let's start quarter of a cup double cream one medium egg Eight grams, about one tablespoon of arrowroot powder, about uh, an eighth of a teaspoon salt. Now make sure you mix it properly. Arrowroot is used here in this recipe as a raising agent. The most important quality arrowroot has is to replace the gluten that is usually found in the wheat flour of the original recipe. That's the only reason why we're using arrowroot, so I wouldn't recommend to skip it. By the way, if you haven't seen one of them, those are really, really easy and so much quicker to do everything. I'll leave a link in the description for you so you can have a look about it off Amazon and it saves so much time. That's the consistency you need. Quite liquidy at the moment. Cover it up with some cling film and leave it to set for about half an hour, 30 minutes. And we'll come back to it. In the meantime, I'm using muffin tray to be easier for me. You can use any small ramekins or whatever you have at home. And we will need about 5 grams of beef dripping, which we'll put in preheated oven to melt. And when the 30 minutes are done up for the butter, we'll put the butter straight into the hot boiling beef dripping. Why I'm using beef dripping? The beef dripping heat temperature is one of the highest we can find in any kind of fat and that's the most important for Yorkshire pudding to actually raise. You can use any kind of animal fat like goose fat or duck fat if you don't like the beef dripping. You can use butter but unfortunately, the boiling temperature of the butter is quite low, so you won't have the same effect as the beef dripping or any other fat you want to use. So let's put the muffin tray in the oven to heat it up. And when the 30 minutes are done, we can pour the butter in the muffin trays. Timer is almost up, so let's take the muffin trays from the oven. Now, the muffin trays are really hot, so be careful not to burn yourself. Let's pour everything in. You see how it's bubbling? It's already cooking it. Now, put in the oven for about 30-35 minutes. Do not open the oven before the 30th minute as everything can collapse. See you in 30 minutes. And 30 minutes later, look what we got. Nice, huge actually. It raised so much that it touched the top of my oven. 